Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a brand new arc for Pokemon Horizons. The Terrastal debut arc begins in episode 46 and is titled How Thrilling, Naranja Academy. This debut episode helps set up everything going forward, so let's talk about it. So at the end of the previous arc, our heroes all knew they needed to be stronger. So Freed came up with the idea that they should enroll in Narahana Academy and take the Terrasal course. However, unlike the game, this is set to be only a short course. That way our protagonists don't have to take all the other courses in the games that don't fit with this series. Liko and Roy are excited to go to school while Dot seems a bit shy. Liko will be coming in as a transfer student so she's wearing her outfit from Indigo Academy. The other two get the Narahana Academy outfit. My first question when I saw this was, why did they choose Narahana Academy instead of Uva? Is that just an aesthetic choice or will that actually play into the story i.e will we actually get some past paradox pokemon in the series keep an eye out on that when they get to the school clavel and gita gives them a brief introduction of the terrassal phenomenon and how students are coming over from other places to learn what the terrassal orbs do before giving each of our heroes a brand new orb they then ask the student council president namona to take our heroes around the school and introduce them just like liko's pokemon have evolved so has namona's palmy which has evolved into a palma namona wants to battle roy when they first meet but clavel asks her to perform her duties, so she takes our heroes around the school. They eventually come across two of the Elite Four members of Paldea, Hassel and Rika. Rika tells Liko that she's representing Indigo Academy, so Liko says that she will do her best. Once again, before Nimona and Roy can battle, the school bell rings, meaning they have to go to class. The class they go to is one and what looks like the letter A, a nice nod to My Hero Academia, as they enter Miss Dendra's Battle Studies class. They head outside to do some exercise, and here, we learn more about the course. We learn that students aren't allowed to battle each other with the Terrassa Orb, which I I think will be important moving forward. Also, each of our heroes will be doing two tests against the gym leader that they are given by the school based on their aptitude. One is the basics test and the other's implementations. For the basics, the students have to be seen as worthy by the gym leader. Jock then arrives to give our heroes the course through their Rotom phones and tells them to take pictures and videos for reports for his class too before leaving. I guess they're doing one more other class which is research which I bet you Freed asked for that our heroes do since he's also a professor. Before our heroes leave the outside with Dendra however and notices Liko. It's a reunion after a long time so the two talk for a while about how each of them have grown, each of them having evolved their first partner Pokemon. They then decide to have another battle against each other, the first one since Liko first got Sprigatito and this battle here we get is really great. Lots of strategy shown by both and using Duat Scalchop to hit Florgato from the back before following up with Aerial Ace and Liko countering by taking space and using Florgato's Vine to get rid of Duat Scalchops before using Magical Leaf to KO it. As the battle is going on, the remaining Elite Four, including the champions, are out to watch it, and Rika says something that caught my ear. She says, Gita was looking for more people for the League. Why would they bring this random fact up unless they plan on having someone in the story involved with that idea? Just a thought. Keep an eye out for that. After the battle, Anne says that she's frustrated, but she wants to battle again in the future after she gets stronger. Finally, they all head back inside and get their camping gears and their assignment. The gym that liko has been assigned is Katie from Cortando, for Roy, it's Brassius from Artisan, and for Dot, it's Iono from Lavencia. Our heroes decide they will go to Cortando to do Liko's gym first since it's the closest town nearby. However, before Clavel can set off our heroes, Coral and Sidon, I mean Rice Ball and Sandwich, nice nod to the dub there, arrives in school dressed up as students. And even though Clavel is skeptical since they aren't on the list of students, they're able to get in thanks to Charles. She seems to have infiltrated Narana Academy as a teacher and she's able to put their fake identities and enroll them as students. However, unlike Ash and Co, Liko, Roy, and Dot all notice these students as the explorers. But for now, they decide they won't do anything, they'll just have to wait and see what to do. How the explorers are managing to infiltrate these things so easily is mind blowing to me, but we do know that they have been asked for now just to keep an eye out on our heroes and specifically Liko, so maybe they didn't want to go the team rocket route and just follow everyone running around with the balloon. And as the episode comes to an end, we see Orla working on fixing the brave olivine and it seems that that'll take a while, but while she's doing that, Freed and Cap have their own adventure they want to go on. As he says, he's gonna follow a hunch as we see him with the pokeball holders that Liko used to store three of Lucius's Pokemon. A very well done first episode of a brand new arc. We get introduced to new characters, get told clearly what the focus of this arc will be, and how our heroes can go about accomplishing their goals for this arc. We're introduced to two side plots, one with the villains and other with another primary character and Freed. A lot happened this episode, yet it never felt rushed at any point. The way everything was told, it was fun, it was interesting, and on top of that, we got a really well made battle with good strategies. I hope Anne gets more involved in the story as I feel like we haven't really got to see her much in the story, but I have a feeling she's just going to be a measuring stick to show the growth of Legal. so I don't know if they 
have any other plans with her. It does look like we'll eventually get a Roy vs Nimona battle since they've teased it so much. I can't wait to see how Roy will get strong enough to contend with her. And as for Dot, her battle with Iona should be fun. They've set up a lot of fun scenarios here that I can't wait to see where the story goes. Overall, a phenomenal episode. But what about you guys? What did you guys think of this episode? Let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to like, share, subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at the Gaming. And that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Peace. Thank you.